I want to know, so um, when you when you found out that you would need to learn Python and Linux, what resources did you use? Because you, you didn't have a lot of time. So what did you choose to get yourself ramped up? What I used was um, David Bombo. Mm -hmm. Shout out David Bombo. Go follow <laughs> that guy. I used David Bombo and, um, and then I started using Code Academy. Code Academy. Yeah. And, and, and it was, it's confusing though. I think it's just Code Academy, right? It, yeah, it's like, code there's no Academy. A in there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's Code Academy. <laughs> yeah, they're great. I've been using them recently, and um, it's it's pretty good. Did you did you ever use their uh, their paid version at all? Yeah, I, I'm. I always use their paid version. It's really good. Like they make you do all these projects, a little little projects, and get you acclimated with the subject, and you really learn a lot doing um, Code Academy. Yeah, some people don't like it, but I I, I, I like it so far. It's been good uh, for me. I think it's it's pretty good. Well, yeah, because like within the first like three and um, within the first minute, you're coding. It's, yes, you're not watching a video. You're not watching some guy do something. You're no. just they tell you to code and you code. <laughs> yeah. It's really cool. You keep coding till you're done. To the last to the last um, syllable that they have there, you coding like there's no stopping. That's awesome. So yeah, you've just encouraged me to finish Code Academy because I started it. I kind of like relaxed on it a bit, but it's it's good to hear that. So after you fit, so I'm, I assumed you finished Code. So they had a Python course. Yeah, Did you finish they, the whole they, Python thing. Yeah, they had the Python course. I finished the the Python course and I finished everything. 